when we deal with different kinds of grasses, as far as cereals, we have to be able to look at the different stages of growth that they go through. This allows us to go and put down a stage that everybody will understand. This particular one looks at a cereal grain. You start out with an emergence phase, then you get a two leaf phase, then you get tillering. Tillering is all about the plant stays down. You've got an apical meristem that normally is right about ground level. And what you will get is you will get the vision of that apical meristem to produce additional shoots rather than just starting out with one comb coming out of a spot. You actually will have four or five different combs coming out be tillered or it provided additional meristems. And these will grow up. And each one will produce an inflorescence on top of it. Each one of those inflorescences will have grain in it. When this gives you a, a whole lot more grain. Winter wheat is often planted. It starts to grow. You get snow cover. During the snow cover time, you actually get tillering. And then it comes up and after the snow melts and does extremely well. So we're looking at tillering. You see this plant up here. You can see that you've got one root system out of it. You've got a whole bunch of different stem pieces that are about to take off. Then we get what we call the flag leaf. The flag leaf is really the last leaf that comes up before the inflorescence. And it's kind of like a little flag up in the top. Then after that, we get the emergence of the inflorescence. We get the flowering part where you'll find the stamens and the stigma and the style visible. When you look at it, you will see it like that. After you get inflorescence production, or then we start looking at the grain. And grain has various stages in it as well. And this shows you kernels at various times during grain filling. The first one says kernel at watery ripe. This is where you have the ovary, and the ovary is just getting pollinated, and the ovary itself is kind of uh, soft and watery. He says you've got kernel at late milk. And late milk means that rather than having just the watery type ovary material in there, you're starting to get starch accumulation and it starts looking milky. If you pressed on it with your finger, it would actually come out milky. Then you get soft dough. Soft dough is where the material begins to get some consistency on the inside. Finally, you get hard dough. At hard dough, you get the loss of the green color and you get the ripe kernel. They say that you harvest somewhere between hard dough and ripe. You can see the different stages that the grain goes through. So once you actually get maturity starting, then you're looking at grain stages. In this particular case, it took about 90 days to get a maturity. Watery ripe is going to be where you're getting emergence to flowering in there. These are on small grains. Corn goes by this system. You've got your seed as VE. V would be vegetative. E says emergence. And this is what a corn grain looks like when it's emerging from the ground. These are taken a day apart. And by this time, you're already getting a true leaf up. You've got another leaf coming out of the center. And that other leaf starts to expand. And this is going to be about the time the, that you're getting towards the V2. In. The V4 means that you've got four true leaves. The V8 is going to be eight true leaves. Then you hit the VT. The T is going to stand for tassel. This is where you get the vegetative part and you get the tassel coming out of the top. And you can see the tassels emerging up here. And when you have these tassels emerging, you don't quite have the reproductive phase with the R where you've got the ears, and the ears have the silk on it, and silk is the stigma and the style that's going to gather the pollen and allow for fertilization of the grain. Down here it shows you where it is maturing, and you've got an R5 stage where it's fully grown and it's starting to mature. So when we look at growth stages, we have to have a way of being able to connotate the growth stages so that we can write them down on a piece of paper and say, this is this stage, this is this stage. This is one of the ways that we do it. This would be on corn. The previous one was on small grains.